shapes, let's go. This deep sound that comes with this one, I love that light underneath that. My husband's going to do it, my God, so he can do this. <laughs> Definitely easier to build than a fall. Like a giant jigsaw puzzle. So you know what you're going to do from one stage to the next. Oh, yeah, you get this? A little outside decoration? Jeez, I'm really torn. What did you guys think? It was, it was worth cool. it? Yeah. What's the one thing you took away from it? You have to push yourself. You're not going to be able to get where you want to be. If I were to pick which one I would put in my house, Hey, so everything went awesome yesterday with the Academy. I know they're working the home show right now. Also got all these kids coming in. Where are you guys from? Equal Valley. Valley. Equal Valley. Say hi, guys. So this uh -huh. is, uh, busy. So we got all these people. It's never, ever ending here. It's busy, busy, busy. They're here to just see the business of Aquascape. I've been asked to kind of take them on a tour and, and show them around the place. And then I think they uh, head off to lunch. 90% of them are really interested in what I have to say. The rest of them are just interested in uh, going to Portillo's later for lunch. <laughs> Yesterday was the second day and the last day of our hands-on academy. However, we had a large faction of contractors and fellow CACs come over from the UK. So they hopped across the pond for the hands-on academy. They decided to stay a couple extra days. So today, we are gonna spend some additional time with them. And apparently Greg Whitstock, the pond guy, is gonna join us as well. Here he is. You gotta say hi to Willow, our new mascot. Hey. She's way cuter than you. I would have to agree with that. <laughs> so what we're doing, I want you to show these guys what you're doing in the sandbox. Yeah. So this is a special academy because this is just for the Brit. This is what we do seven times in the winter time. And look at how much fun this is. All right, so are we gonna have a contest of who builds the best one? You got two pilots going in, what yes. do you got? Two backyard landscape and waterfall kits. They both have equal amount of stone, so it's a level playing field. Well, if it's gonna be a contest, we need a wager. How about this? The first round of drinks tonight goes to the winner, bought by me. We had higher stakes. Well, what was your higher stakes? What was your higher stakes? <laughs> Winning team gets tickets to Pandemonium. Wow, that's like a couple thousand dollar. Uh, <laughs> I told him, I go, I go, go big. What's he gonna say is no. So it looks like it's Cervezas on Greg. In my opinion, that's a win. But as a consolation prize, I'll buy the losing team their first round. I'll put it on Greg's aqua card though. <laughs> so this is gonna be team A, right over here to the left. Who's on team A? I'm Daniel. I'm Michael. Hi, Paul. I'm Greg. So that's team A. Shout out to Oh, judging by their faces, what do you think? That's team A. Now here's team B. I'm Freddy. I'm John. Ian. Luke. Pete. That's team B. Right now in the video, put your comment below, see who's gonna win, team A or team B, based on sheer looks alone. It's a close one, folks. We're actually teaching how to build these backyard landscape and waterfall kits. Some of them have done it before, some of them haven't. I think the teams are matched up pretty well. We are at the point now where we've got the underlayment down and now we're gonna put the liner down so that we can start getting the framework for our bottom waterfall set. This is the hardest part of building a waterfall, is really setting that first frame rock. This rock is going to set the tone for the rest of the water feature. You don't want to come in with a rock that's too big or too small. You want it just right. We want to have it to scale with the, with the, with the berm or the surrounding soil area that we created through excavation. About 12 to 14 inches is about as tall of a waterfall as we can build. These guys are doing a fantastic job. I don't understand what they're saying because they're thick accents, so they're all working very great together. Um, this is gonna be really, really exciting. It's gonna be a close race. So that went awesome. I think the kids were thoroughly inspired. Greg just finished up talking with them. Gave them some words of wisdom. What it means to be successful. You have to check it out. But let's say goodbye to them. Hopefully they had a good time. What'd you guys think? It was, it was worth it? Yeah. What's the one thing you took away from it? Success can come from anywhere. You have to push yourself. You're not going to be able to get where you want to be. Awesome. Yeah. Anybody going to apply for a job here? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. I Great group, job. right? That was cool. <laughs> Escapes, let's go. Look at this. This is you, Brian. <laughs> yeah. what you talking? He took away how to start a great business. There you go. How to be successful. Yeah. Drive is important. Drive it. Drive grit. Be happy. Thanks for having us. See Appreciate you later, it. Mr. Mertz. <laughs> See ya. Well, that was a lot of fun. I always enjoy seeing the high school kids in here. They're the same age I was when I started working at this company. 18 years old, young and impressionable, eager to just get a bunch of advice. Greg was really inspirational, as he always is. It's just never boring here at Aquascape. Chris's day never ends either. Some of the people stayed back 
and wanted even more time in the sandbox. So let me kind of show you what they're doing right now. We got two different projects going on at the same time. Looking good, guys. I mean, it looks better with water over the top. <laughs> Did your teacher leave you? Where'd he go? <laughs> Ooh, that one's gonna be cool with that piece of wood in there. So did you guys enjoy the academy? Yeah. yeah. What was your favorite part? Brian's talk. Brian's What do you think? I've already got a favorite. Pretty nice guys, actually, I'm pretty impressed. I don't know if I could build a better one myself. I don't think you could. One of them I definitely could build better. <laughs> hey, you know, if it looks good dry, it'll look really good wet, but we'll see. Still got a that leak, right? That's part of the criteria? Correct. How much longer till we got water running here? What do you think? Soon. Okay. I'll come soon, out very, very soon. We'll let you know. We're done? We're done. Do you have a favorite? I do. So maybe we should let you vote. That's not fair. Come on, I want you I, to be the bad But guy. I had a hand in, in helping these guys. The light just went out. I walked around and all the electricity. We want, we, want, we, wanted, <laughs> we want you to do the ceremonious plugging the waterfalls in. You're the homeowner. Okay, so where's the plug? We made it easy for you. You just have to plug like those it. two in. What size pumps did we use? Aquasurge 2000s, which come with the backyard landscape yep. and waterfall. Simple, simple, simple. Oh. Yeah, I like the little beach area up there. Two uses of log, hide the um, spillway. I like the sound of this one better. This deep sound that comes with this one, I love that light underneath that. If I were to pick which one I would put in my house, boy, I love the deep stream up there. See, there's something. Every time I look, I see something new. I love that deep stream. Definitely a cool way to hide a spillway. You guys did a really good job with that waterfall spillway up there. I love this light underneath that log. I love the wood. Man, this is tough. Okay, you got a little bowl. Oh yeah, you get this, a little outside decoration. Jeez, I'm really torn. It's like 95 and nine, it's really serious. I've already got a favorite. I like a little beach area up there. I like the sound of this one better. So what is it? <laughs> All right, I'm going with this one right here. I can't either. Seriously, I guess it's fantastic. Both Thomas waterfalls turned out incredible, especially given that these people are brand spanking new into water features, building a waterfall, the aquascape lifestyle in general. I would say the two end results that were done here today are nothing short of spectacular. If you want to be at the Aquascape Academy, check out the link below. We have four left academies this year, two in March and two in April, and then it's going to be Pondemonium in August, baby. There's nothing wrong with windows. You just kind of look through them. What are you gonna look at? And that's what our booth is all about. I might be a little biased, but I think our booth is the nicest one here. There's Brian doing his thing. Still proud of my guys. Super, super awesome. We're here at the home show. I'm all dressed up here. Greg back there talking to some homeowners. He just finished up his talk. I heard he got a standing ovation, but now I can't vouch for that. But what I'm very proud of is the guys and what they built out here. Everything looks fantastic. Really proud of the way it came out. Let me just kind of give you a run through really quick. We've got our stacked slate section. 
We've got the walls, which I love, not just because of the way they look now, but the endless possibilities. We can stack them so they get higher and higher, link them together, continue wider walls. We got the small sphere, the small urn, different sizes of those. So we got one that gets a little bit bigger, even bigger, and then taller and taller urns. The basalt columns, which I think are just timeless. Love that it's a natural stone and everyone comes uh, naturally with that pentagon shape. And then of course, our palmless waterfall sitting over here. Great job, guys. Love the simplicity of it and how great it looks. And then for those that just don't have the space, always the popular toucan with that mouth that constantly opens and closes. People ask what we do in the winter. We obviously stay very, very busy. Home shows, uh, academies, uh, tours with uh, schools and that kind of stuff never ends. Day in the life of Aquascape. If you want to see more of what we do day to day, make sure you hit like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and we'll keep giving you more. See you later.